94.3, The Wolf at 713. It is the Waking Up with CJ and Jess show. Glad to have you where you are right now. And uh, if you don't know, and maybe you're new to the show, uh, here at The Wolf, what we try to do is uh, you know stay as local as we possibly can. It's yeah. one of the benefits of actually being a live local radio show. And we have a great community yeah. that's got a bunch of things going on that I mean, we like to share with you. Literally every day we've got something else to talk about. And uh, our good friends over in Pine Bush... Uh, every year they do a uh, pretty cool tractor parade, and uh, I look forward to the uh, the text message I usually get probably the beginning of November from our next guest who uh, joins us in studio. Fritz, how are you this morning? I'm doing great. How uh, are you? Appreciate you coming back in, and uh, you know Fritz will send me a text. Hey CJ, you know we got our tractor thing coming up. Was wondering if I could get a second to you know talk to you guys on the show. And, uh, you know, I appreciate the advance notice, number one, because I'm used to dealing with people that, you know, text yesterday yeah. and then kind of come in tomorrow. Yeah. But uh, I appreciate you obviously coming in. But uh, you guys are back at it, ready again to yep. uh, basically turn Pine Bush into a, a, a little tractor. Well, I don't want to say raceway because I don't want people speeding. <laughs> Start racing their tractor. But uh, right. it's a great time out in Pine Bush every yeah. year. We uh, actually, last year, uh, we had uh, 43 tractors. Okay. And uh, it also, we had about four or five inches of snow. Yeah. As as the parade was going on, we had people call it up. Is it still on? Is yep. it still on? Yes, it's we're still, still doing on. it. So uh, it kind of raised the bar that it's uh, rain or shine or snow or whatever. <laughs> or whatever's coming out. But the uh, weather looks good for Saturday. Yeah, so Mother Nature I does not care. Okay. But yes. uh, I do think, honestly, if you think about it, nothing says you know Hudson Valley more than a couple of tractors and some snow. In the snow. I mean, that's really it, it was. It was absolutely beautiful. That's perfect. And uh, the, and we still had tons of people that showed up on Main Street. And, uh, and just even getting 43 tractors there. I, I was going to say, yeah. A lot of guys drove their tractors, but, uh, you know, was, we were concerned, obviously, with, with the snow and people loading their tractors yeah. onto trailers and stuff. It was. I don't uh, think you're going to have to worry about that I this year. I don't think we're going to have to worry about it this year. From our lips to God's ears, <laughs> right? Mother Nature, please, leave Pine Bush alone for a couple hours on just Saturday. Get the tractor parade done, yep. done. then uh, you can do whatever you want. Again, right. the, uh, the event happens uh, this Saturday. Yep, this Saturday. Um, Tractors arrive uh, at Lloyd's Motor Works on Center Street okay. um, sometime around noon, 12.30. We have a little, uh, for the tractor drivers, a little dish to pass okay. uh, lunch. Uh, we have some people uh, bringing uh, uh, Toys for Tots. Oh, if very nice. Uh, if they're in the parade, if they can uh, bring a Toys for Tots, we bring it up to the town hall where they do a Toys for Tots program. So if you can bring a new unwrapped toy out there yep. at Pine Bush, please do so. Yep, and then uh, we'll have a little driver's meeting. We have the uh, Catholic Corps veterans are going to come out and uh, have the uh, color guard. Oh, and, so nice. And uh, we're going to say the pledge. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll probably have a, have a blessing of the fleet, if you want to call it. Yeah. Um, and uh, just a couple, you know, words prior to uh, stepping off right at 3.30. So, so. It, it starts at 3.30. So if you're thinking about going uh, into Pine Bush for the event and you want to yeah. check out the parade, uh, it's basically going to start promptly at 3.30. Yep. And uh, do you have an idea, as, as far as the tractors go, uh, I do know that I've seen pictures, people decorate their tractors, and they yep. go all out. Yep, we, we, we people decorate their tractors, and uh, obviously it's a, you know, a, a holiday theme. Yeah. And uh, we have... Um, we have some people to go all out. Um, we're, we're hoping to step it up next year a little bit more. Okay. Um, but uh, but basically, yeah, a lot of people decorate their tractors, wear their Santa hats, or do whatever. Very nice. Speaking of which, we do have that man in red who will be... Uh, oh. Making uh, an appearance? Making an appearance. Very cool. Yeah. All and right. So do a tree lighting right afterwards. Oh, nice. Uh, right, right. Uh, uh, I think it's called Crawford Commons. Okay. Uh, so now when is, the parade starts, it starts at Lloyd's and then it goes yep. in a loop? Goes in a big loop, goes okay. North Street down Maple Maple Avenue, and then right down Main Street. The best viewing is probably Main Street. Okay, uh, parking all over the you know side roads say, and everything. Try and to walk, get there and you try know. to get there and get on the uh, get on the on Main Street. Mm -hmm. uh, there's lots of like I said, lots of good uh, places to park, lots of places to eat, things like that. I do um, know I enjoy the. Uh I don't know what it is about. When I go to Pine Bush, I feel like I'm not doing the right thing unless I stop at the Stewart's <laughs> right there. I don't know yeah. why. It's like I, I can't get through Pine Bush without going to Stewart's. Um, I don't know why. We, 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 one of the things that um, this, this uh, parade, as you know, mm -hmm. we've talked about in the past, it's in, actually in memory of my brother, Sergeant Eric yep. Meyer, who was town of Crawford, Crawford Police, Police yep. Department, uh, who passed away uh, three years ago while in duty. Um, three years ago? Three that years was ago. three years ago. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Three years ago. So... Wow. 
Uh, one of the things that he always liked to include uh, in all of his different events that he did with the police department was the veterans, so that's mm -hmm. why we're going to have the veterans. That's awesome. Uh, but he also liked to include the uh, two senior housing projects that are in town. Mm -hmm. So some of the tractors after the parade are going to take a loop around there and go oh, right past Stewart. Oh. Very cool. I love um, it. And great. do a little, you know, just just do people may not be able to get out to see the parade. Uh, bring the parade to them. That are going to bring the parade to them a little bit. You guys thought of everything. Really I love did. it. That's really we're, good. We're trying. You know, we're trying. And again, if you want want to uh, head out on uh, Saturday. Again, the uh, parade's going to step off at 3.30, and uh, like Fritz said, uh, best viewing right on Main Street, and obviously yep. uh, they had 43 tractors this year, We'll see, or last, last year. year. We'll yeah. see how many we get this year, yep. and uh, the weather's going to be a lot nicer. It's always a surprise. We don't know. I mean, I always <laughs> like to say that, uh, you know, if we have 25 and makes a parade, yeah. uh, you know, if we have, you know, 30 and all of a sudden we're a little bit happier, and 43 was great. That's too. awesome. The three years ago was uh, we had over I think sixty three tractors. Wow! So again, it was a gorgeous day. So now, if if somebody is interested, I know it's kind of last minute because it's yeah. happening again this Saturday. If somebody has a tractor and they're listening out yep, in Pine Bush right now, they bring it right down to Lloyd's in the afternoon, and uh, and we have a little form to fill out just so we have your name and address and all that stuff, and we just uh, what other town can you literally pick up on a Saturday afternoon? Bring get on your tractor. tractor. Drive it down and just show and be in a parade. BYOT parade. It's <laughs> happening. Your own track. There you go. It's <laughs> happening in Pine Bush uh, again uh, in memory of uh, Fritz's brother Eric. I mean, just a, a great way to uh, to keep his memory alive. Yeah. And I am actually I was taking that three years ago. I feel like I no. just wrote about that on the website. No. It was a, a really sad day. But uh, you know, you you, you have a, a sad event like that as he you know when he passed away on while on duty. And uh, you turn it into uh, you know something like this with uh, you know his name all over it, and yep. uh, he was a really giving well, guy. He, he did it for oh, for I think we I think this is the eighth or ninth one. Okay, um, it was basically his start, right? He started, he started it. it. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yep. Yeah, we had I think the first year I think we had eighteen tractors. That's awesome. Thirteen tractors it wasn't too many, but it was pretty good. So that's great, man. Let's but, uh, uh, let's try to get a bunch of tractors out there and have some fun. And uh, if I could just uh, yeah. thank, uh, first of all, the, uh, the Pine Bush Lions Club is actually underwriting the event. Very and, cool. Uh, they're they're sponsoring Good uh, folks. the event. Yep. Um, the Town of Crawford uh, Police Department, obviously, for uh, providing uh, the detail for yes. the day. <laughs> Sometimes you, you have to have Those the details covered. Yep. Yeah, Sergeant exactly. Jimmy Johnson's taking care of that. He actually is involving the Explorer Post uh, that that's at at the high school. Okay. Uh, obviously, the town of Crawford for uh, Charlie Carnes, the supervisor, and everybody who's you know supported this. Mm -hmm. uh, the the town of Crawford PBA, the fire department. Including the fire police and Pine Bush. Very cool. Um, and then obviously uh, my wife for, yeah. for putting up with and tolerating <laughs> the uh, the chaos that ensues. More importantly, putting up with you and a beard. Yeah. yeah no shave November. <laughs> if you haven't seen Fritz in a while, Fritz got a nice beard going for November. I like it. That's a lot of people to thank. Yep. yep. And yeah, Lloyd's Lloyd's for uh, you know for having donating us, the space. Donating the space. Yeah. Uh, Morris Cooper for for bringing a more important thing, a an outhouse for the day. Yes. That is important. Um, yeah. My my staff, Pine Bush Physical Therapy, that's been helping with uh, with organizing everything. Man Cave Meat Company that's providing some pulled pork for nice. the day. Um, Walden pork? Savings oh, Bank uh, yeah. is is making a nice donation to help out, um, and then. Just, uh, just everybody for help. John Boyle, principal at Chris Bell Middle Schools, helped me out this year. We love John. Help, helping to coordinate the, uh, the the fire department and 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 just get things going. And we're hoping that next year is going to be a little bit. Uh, we like to try to step it up a little bit for next year. You know, get, my my, my favorite more. part of this, Fritz, is the okay. fact that you guys, you know, you put it together. You have all of those people to thank that uh, you know are part of it. And uh, you may feel like it's kind of like thrown together, but I, I've heard from people, uh, John included, that you get, it's a great event every year. Well oiled yeah. machine. Yeah. Well oiled tractor. You, you know, I do think that, uh, you know, if you want to sit down maybe in February or, you know, after the winter, uh, we would love to be involved next year and maybe make it even bigger and better than, you know, that it has be, ever been before. That would be great. So maybe we call it like, you said great. it was what, eight or nine years ago we started it? Yeah, I, I, I'd have to figure it out and... You know, exactly this is the marketing was, side of me. Maybe we make yeah. it a big 10-year <laughs> thing. Ten year thing. <laughs> yeah. Can we drive tractors? I was going to say, we got... <laughs> we, if you guys come out, we will get you on a tractor. Yes! All right. We'll so get you on a tractor. We're going to have to try to make that <laughs> yes. work for next year. Yeah. Without but, a doubt. Uh, more importantly, get out there and support Pine Bush. Uh, thanks again to the Lions Club, obviously, and all of the, uh, the fine folks that uh, Fritz mentioned. And uh, we appreciate you, obviously, coming in this morning. And uh, if you want more on the event that's happening, again, this Saturday out in Pine Bush, I'll have it for you.
And uh, we videoed uh, Fritz's appearance as well, so you can check out that great beard he's got working for the month it of November. It is a really good beard. No, it's really, well, like, I'm actually jealous, because I know I did no shit in November, but two, three, two like years that. ago. Not even close to what you've got going on. <laughs> but uh, if you want to see that, we'll have the video for you up on our YouTube channel on the website. Uh, guys, best of luck uh, this weekend. Thank you. And uh, give my best to the family, obviously. And, uh, you know, let's keep, uh, you know, your brother uh, Eric's uh, name alive in, uh, in memory good. of him. So. Thank you very much Thank for you. having me. And no problem. And the radio station too for yeah. supporting us. Yeah. See, sometimes we uh, we uh, you know can do that. Yes. We try to do it as much as possible. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes we get yelled. No, yeah. But uh, if you want more details, again, uh, the big tractor parade happening on Saturday. Just go to our website, HudsonValleyCountry.com. We'll take a quick break.